All right, welcome back. Today we're going to be watching episode six of season four, The Laws of God and Men. So, last episode, Tyrion's still in jail. Brienne went out looking for Sansa. John and them went up and killed those mutineers and took three people off your list. Did he take three people off? Yeah, three of them. He had the Bolton crony and the two Oh yeah. The two Night's Watch people he didn't like. They're they're recent additions and quick subtractions to your list. Same episode. <laughs> huh? All in the same episode. And Hodor. Hodor's pretty strong. He broke that dude's neck pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't remember much else about that episode. Do you remember anything else? Mm -hmm. well, oh, so I started going around trying to figure out like, how the judge is going. Oh, yeah, she ain't trying to figure out. She's trying to. Bribe, get, get all the jerseys on her side. It's making her play for Tommen. Tommen. Oh, I had to marry Tommen again. Be queen again. Mm. She's still queen. What? She's supposed to be queen, not, not Cersei. Yeah, but you know, Cersei, Cersei's always going to be queen in her mind. No matter who's the queen. Because she's a power hungry. I'll be like, is she not on my list? No, this is number two. Number one, gone. Good. All right, let's get started. All right, let's do it. What good is power if you cannot protect the ones you love? We can avenge them. You really believe Tyrion murdered your son? You started wars to protect this family's future. What does Tyrion deserve for lighting that future on fire? How many hands have you betrayed, Pycelle? I am your loyal servant. Throw him in one of the black cells. Who knows? There are many who know that without you, this city faced certain defeat. The king won't give you any honors that we will not forget. I clearly they forgot. <laughs> oh, yeah, they could forget quickly. I will answer injustice with justice. I'm going to pick the fastest ship in our fleet, and I'm going to bring him home. We need to look east for ships and men. Soldiers win wars. We don't have any gold. I'm running out of time, Sir Davos. Which means you're running out of time. You shouldn't have no problem with him. I have a problem with the, the witch. <laughs> she don't want to always keep telling you you're going to be king. Lying. <laughs> she saw it in the flames. Heck, I can see whatever I want to in the flames. <laughs> Just because I see it don't mean it's true. That's true. It is a very long way to the wall from Winterfell. Yeah, it's like a thousand leagues, they said, or something like that. Or that's from King's Landing. Which is a long way, like 3,000 miles, I think. Basically, the width of the United States almost. So, I'd probably be like going from Texas to California, from Winterfell to the Wall, maybe. And do that on horseback and in a cart or walking. Nah. Hmm. I'd rather not. On a little bitty boat now, you know, one of them big old boats he had before, huh? Mm -hmm. It's still kind of big, though. Yeah. Your Grace, if you'd like to sit, I'm sure that we've been here since midday. The Easterners have a different sense of time, I've often found. All that pace I ain't gonna do nothing but make you other frustrated. Yeah. Welcome to the Iron Bank. Please, sit. You one person can call them for it. You in a city. 
<laughs> I know, right? You want their money. What can we do for you, Lord Stannis? This is Stannis of the House Baratheon. King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. The Iron Throne is currently occupied by Tommen of the House Baratheon, King of the Andals and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm. He is a bastard. Yes. We have heard this story. It's not a story. It's the truth. Across the narrow sea, your books are filled with words like usurper and madman and blood right. Here, our books are filled with numbers. They prefer the stories they tell. More plain, less open to interpretation. How many fighting men remain loyal to you? 4,000. And how many ships do you have? Uh, the ones still afloat, Sir Davos, not at the bottom of Blackwater Bay. <laughs> 32. And how much wheat and barley and beef and pork do you produce on Dragonstone to feed your 4,000 men on your 32 ships? <laughs> None. You can see why these numbers seem unlikely to add up to a happy ending. From our perspective, I'm afraid we must respectfully <laughs> decline your request. But we thank you for paying us the honor of your visit. Now, why are you looking at him? I mean, like, you brought me over here to be embarrassed. He's an honest man, and he's your best chance to get back the money you've sunk into Westeros. Which is a lot, I imagine. Who's the real power in King's Landing? Tywin Lannister. How old is Tywin Lannister? 67. 67, and when he dies, who's in command? A half-grown boy. Cersei Lannister, a queen whose people despise her. When Tywin's gone, who do you back? There's only one reliable leader left in Westeros. Stannis. He's clever. He's a tried and tested battle commander, and he doesn't just talk about paying people back, he does it. We don't care. First mate asks, the captain? They all look to their brave captain, waiting for his usual command. Calm as ever. The captain bellows. Yes, I ain't heard that story too many times. Yeah. I heard you were rotting in a dungeon in Dragonstone. Only half rotted. Join us, my friend. Join us. No time, I'm afraid. We sail at sunrise. We. You, me, we. Where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to see me die poor and alone. You won't be alone, and you won't be poor. There's a chest of the good stuff left back at your house. I gave it to your wife. You're not my friend, my friend. <laughs> I'll see you at sunrise. Why, because he gave it to the wife? Yeah. <laughs> Iron-born scum, out of the north. In the box, you'll find a special gift. Theon's favorite toy. Leave the north now, or more boxes will follow with more Theon. Yeah, she and her teeth all jacked up. Skinned our countrymen, and they mutilated my brother, your prince. As long as they can hurt our prince with impunity, the word Iron Born means nothing. You don't play, huh? Yeah, she don't mess around. Theon Greyjoy. I, I don't know. I'm here for Theon Greyjoy. Take me to the dungeons. He's not in the dungeons. Sleeping with the dogs. Yep. Get the pet. Lost cage in the right. Dang, she. <laughs> <laughs> We're going home. It's me, Yara. You can't trick me. Tricking you, Theon. I'm saving Not you. Not Theon. Reek here. Reek. I'll leave him there. Real. <laughs> Knock him out! <laughs> oh lord. This is turning into a lovely evening. Oh lord. Please don't tell me they're going. Give me my brother. And no more of your men will die. You've got bigger balls than he ever did. Hmm. How fast can you run? Mm -mm. 
make for the ship now. Are your brother? My brother's dead. No, that's real. Weekly. I mean, like for real. I know, right? You could have been gone and back home. A reward. Mm -hmm. Lord. Those creatures who came in the night, they wanted to take you away. And you didn't let them. You remained loyal. I was so scared. I didn't yes. want to. Yes, great. I'm getting my dog on nerves. <laughs> he need to be on my list just to be because he's weak. I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> For you. And his mind weak. Oh, no. Yeah. I mean, you just loyal to, to anybody, huh? And I know the Stark family didn't treat you like this. Oh. Okay, he's been tortured a little bit. Call him Reek. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because he's Reek of... Because he's my life. Yeah. Look at him. Huh. I don't care. People can get beat, beat like that and still be. Uh, about the, to drown him. Uh, what's the trick? <laughs> you about to drown him. You about to drown him. You get mad because they all his me and he lost. Mm -mm. Don't trust him. <sighs> He let your guard down, then here it comes. Because I need you to do something for me. Something very important. I need you to play a role. Mm -mm. To pretend to be someone you're not. Pretend to be who? Theon Greyjoy. Now he's gonna let him go just so he can... Jesus, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> well, they ain't got B. Oh, now you wrong. You're wrong. I'm hungry. I don't care. She need to control her uh, dragons. Dinaris Germasmo al Nigel Demas. Henlentor Targaryen. Zeobrosio Elos. Dorzalti. Merino Daria, Andaro si Aereo Varo Daria, Hen Parmenco and Basma Halisi, Balamot Prejatis, Simon. Dang. So it just keeps getting longer and longer. Yetar Bohashko Nesha Shetra. I hope he didn't kill that boy. That dragon didn't kill that bird. That boy. He is a goat herd. Now your, your, your baby's up there burning up his, his stuff. Tashpa Saldrijesh. It was your dragons, he says. He hopes he has not offended your grace, but now he has nothing. Tell this man I am sorry for his hardship, but I will see he has paid their value three times over. Grimwa. 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 Send the next one in. And she knew all languages, huh? It's, I mean, that's just amazing. Mine is one of the oldest and proudest families in Meereen. My father oversaw the restoration and maintenance of its greatest landmarks. For that, he has my gratitude. I should be honored to meet him. You have, Your Grace. You crucified him. Hmm. Your father crucified innocent children. My father spoke out against crucifying those children. Is it justice to answer one crime with another? My father and 162 noble Miranees are still nailed to those posts. Yeah, I had no problem with them kids out there. Exactly. I'm just saying. Why she, she let y'all fool them people down? Y'all let them kids sit out there and rot for the vultures. And what of the slave children these noble Miranees crucified? I cannot defend the actions of the masters. I can only speak to you as a son who loved his father. Let me take his body down. Let me have him brought to the temple and buried with dignity so that he might find peace in the next world. <clears throat> Bury your father. 
starız olarak. Thank you, my queen. How many more? There are two hundred and twelve supplicants waiting, Your Grace. And twelve. One of the rule. Well, that's what she got to do. She got a rule. These meetings aren't always going to be this early, are they? <laughs> it's a great honor to have been granted a seat on this council. I the trial begins this afternoon. We only have the morning for affairs of state. Quit kissing ass, dude. My birds tell me the hound slaughtered five of our soldiers. Disgraceful. <laughs> A common soldier stupid enough to try his luck with the hound. Ten silver stacks seems a generous bounty. Make it a hundred. Hmm. More whispers from the east, my lord. Daenerys has taken up residence in Meereen. As for Sir Barristan, it would seem he took his dismissal from the King's Guard a bit harder than anticipated. He's an old man. He wasn't fit to protect my son. Joffrey didn't die on his watch. She must be dealt with. Can your little birds find their way into Meereen? Most certainly, my Lord Hand. Mm. Lord Tyrell, be a good man. Fetch my quill and paper. <laughs> no, he left. <laughs> He's here, Fitch. Prince mm. Oberon. Lord Varys. You seem quite knowledgeable about the Unsullied. Did you spend much time in Asos? Five years. You are from Essos. Where? Lys. I have an ear for accents. I've lost my accent entirely. I have an ear for that as well. <laughs> How did you get here? It's a long story. One you don't like telling people. People I trust. I hope you won't be offended when I say I never would have guessed. Not at all. But I was never interested in girls either. What then? Nothing. Everybody is interested in something. Hmm. Besides, the absence of desire leaves one free to pursue other things. Such as? <laughs> you want to be king, man? That's still a desire. Okay, yeah. Ooh, come and take him. <laughs> Let me guess. I've been pardoned. <laughs> you wish. Really? Father's orders. Well, we mustn't disappoint Father. It ain't no doggone well he didn't kill nobody. Kingslayer. Kingslayer. Oh, now he get the night. They both brothers have the name Kingslayer now. <laughs> okay, what they do? They just do look like they did nothing with they, the. They chained them to the thing. I, Tommen of the House Baratheon. First of my name, King of the Andals and the First Men, and Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, do hereby recuse myself from this trial. Tywin of the House Lannister, Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm, will sit as judge in my stead. Why he recuse himself? Because they know he likes a period. Because he likes his uncle. Because he be laughing at his jokes and all that good stuff. I thought she was sitting there on the judge. Oh, uh, no, they won't let her. <laughs> Tyrion of the House Lannister. Stand accused by the Queen Regent of Regicide. Did you kill King Joffrey? No. Did your wife, the Lady Sansa? Not that I know of. The Crown may call its first witness. Once we'd got King Joffrey safely away from the mob, the imp rounded on him. He slapped the king across the face and called him a vicious idiot and a fool. Joffrey was up. I'm glad he did. Everybody is. 
I want him. So I want the hound to get him. <laughs> Widow's blood, uh, wolf's bane, essence of nightshade, sweet sleep, demon's dance. This is what all he ain't got. Blind I'm taking. I think you have made your point, Grand Master. You have a lot of poison in your store. Had. My stores were plundered. By whom? By the accused, Tyrion Lannister, after he had me wrongfully imprisoned. Grand Maester, you examined King Joffrey's corpse. Was it without question poison that killed him? Without question. This was found on the body of Dantos Hollard, the king's fool. He was last seen spiriting Sansa Stark, the wife of the accused, away from the feast. She wore this necklace the day of the hmm. wedding. And how she blame her? How did grandmother put the blame on her? Terrible poison was found inside. Now how did they get that when <coughs> little finger hat? He threw it on what's his name's body in the boat after he killed him. Yeah, but he did. So how they pick it? Man, guess the little raft probably floated ashore and they found somebody found I will him. hurt you for this. A day will come when you think you are safe and happy, and your joy will turn to ashes in your mouth, and you will know the debt is paid. Well, I'm glad his shade got away. Tyrion said, and you will know the debt is paid. What debt? I discovered he'd been keeping whores in the Tower of the Hand. For real? Thank you, your grace. <laughs> For real? He mm. ain't that small that he'll do that, say no. that over there. He did tell her that man over other shit. Yeah, I know that, but he was just Jamie looking like making it seem like he cared about the one that she had, which was Roz, the one that he wasn't messing with. I'm afraid I do, my lord. He said perhaps you should speak more softly to me then. Monsters are dangerous, and just now kings are dying like flies. And he said this to you at a meeting of the small council. <sighs> After we received word of Rob Stark's death, he didn't seem gladdened by the news. Perhaps his marriage to Sansa Stark had made him more sympathetic to the Northern cause. Are you freaking serious? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Father, may I ask the witness one question? One. <laughs> you once said that without me, the city would have faced certain defeat. You said... The histories would never mention me, but you would not forget. Have you forgotten, Lord Varys? Sadly, my lord, I never forget a thing. <laughs> You're like, I should never see it, dick. Yeah. And for now, toll the bells in an hour's time. Seems like this something's fishy about this. Mm hmm. Jamie, after hearing everything, Jamie like, This isn't a trial, it's a farce. Cersei has manipulated everything, and you know it. I know nothing of the sort. You've always hated Tyrion. He killed his king. As did I. Sure did, but he ain't getting no trial. I'm performing my sworn duty as Hand of the King. If Tyrion is found guilty, he will be punished accordingly. He'll be executed. No, he'll be punished accordingly. Once you said, family is what lives on. All that lives on. What happens to your dynasty when Tyrion dies? What happens to my dynasty if I spare the life of my grandson's killer? It survives through me. I'll leave the king's god. I'll take my place as your son and heir if you let Tyrion live. Done. Hmm. Really? Testimony is concluded and the guilty verdict rendered. Tyrion will be given the chance to speak. He'll plead for mercy. I'll allow him to join the Night's Watch. What? He'll depart for Castle Black and live out his days of the war. You'll remove your white cloak immediately. You will leave King's Landing to assume your rightful place at Casterly Rock. You will marry a suitable woman and father children named Lannister. Hmm. Is this his ploy the whole time? Probably. You have my word. And you have mine. Hmm. Well, it ain't much. I tell you that. How much you want to bet West Kind won't? <laughs> he won't plead mercy. 
you're going to be found guilty. Oh, you think so? And when you are, you need to enter a formal plea for mercy and ask to be sent to the wall. Do you trust me? Keep your mouth shut. No more outbursts. Hmm. Look at her. Look, 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 look at it. Crown may call its next witness. Shay? The way he look at Oh my god. For real? For real? This come State your name. She. Do you swear by all the gods that your testimony will be true and honest? I swear it. Do you know this man? Yes. Tyrion Lannister. I was handmaiden to his wife, Lady Sansa. This man stands accused of murdering King Joffrey. What do you know of this? I know that he's guilty. He and Sansa planned together. This heifer. <laughs> this heifer. Are you freaking kidding me? She blamed their deaths on the king. Who got to her? Stupid? He hated Joffrey. He hated the queen. He hated you, my lord. He stole poison from the Grand Mesa's chamber to put in Joffrey's wine. How could you possibly know all this? Why would he reveal such plans to his wife's maid? I wasn't just her maid. I was his whore. <laughs> My God, a scorn whore. I mean, they for real. Come to be in his service. He stole me. He sent one of his cutthroats into our tent. Really? He said, I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. <laughs> Silence. That's like hurt right there. And did you fuck him like it was his last night in this world? I did everything he wanted. Whatever he told me to do to him, whatever he felt like doing to me. Oh my god, that's like a a a, a, a freaking sword to the heart. He ordered me to call him my lion, so I did. That's what you call him. She liar. Please don't. I am a whore. Remember? That was before he married Sansa. After that, all he wanted was her. But she wouldn't let him in her bed. So he promised to kill King Joffrey for her. She even know Oh, Lord Jesus. Are you freaking kidding me? Father. Okay, well, you deserve to die if you die. I mean, oh, you gonna confess? I wish to confess. No, look, Jane. I saved you. I saved the city. All your worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. I'm right there with you, Tyrion. No. Guilty. Is that what you want to hear? I'm guilty of a far more monstrous crime. I'm Leave guilty it. of being a dwarf. You are not on trial for being a dwarf. I've been on trial for that my entire life. I did not kill Joffrey, but I wish that I had. Watching your vicious bastard die gave me more relief than a thousand lying whores. <laughs> I wish I had enough poison for the whole pack of you. I would gladly give my life to watch you all swallow it. Samarin! Samarin! Escort the prisoner back to his cell. <laughs> I will not give my life for Joffrey's murder and I know I'll get no justice here so I will let the gods decide my fate hmm. I demand a trial by combat <laughs> wow look at him it, yeah. <laughs> look at her my her dummy don't die people lying up there but she she hurt my heart she doing did. that i thought she was gone well she was supposedly gone must have got to her 
get to her. She was gone. The what's his name? He said he made sure she was on the ship. She was gone. There been somebody on the ship. Oh, Jesus. You know, Cersei and them, they got all kinds of people. Don't y'all do your own dirty work? How about that? <laughs> but Shay. Yeah, she just slide her ass off on that. But if something happened to her, it deserves. She deserves it. I'm sorry, she deserves it. All because you butt hurt because he wanted to protect you. That's what it is. Yeah. You butt hurt because he wanted to protect you and get you out. And he was. She was jealous that he was married to another woman. Well, he wasn't gonna marry your snake butt. Shoot. He was gonna keep you as his whore. And marry somebody else. That's how. That's that's the royal way, apparently. Apparently, she's stupid. She just doggone stupid. And then gonna look surprised when he said, "I want a a, a trial by combat." Yeah, they must have told her if he, she lied, he'll get off. Of her. It's just a formality or something. They had lied to her to get her to say all that stuff. Either they are threatening to kill her. She hurt. They didn't have to threaten nothing. Mm-hmm. She hurt. She a woman scorn. Oh, wait a minute. A war scorn. <laughs> Get on my dog on nerves. That don't make no sense. That does not make any sense. I tell you, these people in King's Land, they're cutthroat, aren't they? Yeah. Even the whores are cutthroat. Yeah. Can't trust nobody. Can't trust that. nobody. Nope. Even the bald headed man. Oh, yeah. Very soon. And he. D- mm. Really? So you you forgot big time, huh? You forgot big time. That's some bull crap. <laughs> Let me calm down. Let me calm down. That really pissed me off though. That she changed that up there and said all those lies because she hurt. She butt hurt. Yeah. Because he was trying to protect her. Yeah. Girl, get your life. You about to lose it. I'm pretty sure. You about to lose it. Stupid fool. Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, but she was stupid. Stupid. Oh, because she butt hurt. Yeah. Butt hurt. So, your favorite character is not in a, a very good situation right now. He sure ain't. Now, but he can with this comeback call on somebody else to oh, fight yeah. him. Who do you think he's going to get to fight for? Jamie can't do it. He only got one hand. He only got one hand. I want to get the other guy that fought for him at. Who, Brian? The one that fought for him the first time. Yeah, Brian, the guy that. You know who I picked? Sh- you know who I picked? <laughs> this will blow their mind. I picked that man in that yellow. Who, over him? Yeah, I pick him. You can, Why you can't pick the judge? I mean, it says you could choose anybody, you right? Choose anybody. Okay. I pick him. Because he looked like. And who will he get to fight in the king's thank guard? Probably that 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 the one that was beaten. Uh, uh, the one that testified against him. Yeah. On Samir and Trent. I, I fight him. Yeah. I don't know who they're gonna get to pick to fight for. I will pick the man and the prince in the yellow. I won't pick that the 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 what they call him. What's the nickname they call him? The Kingslayer. No, I'm not gonna pick Jamie. I would pick what's the, um what's her name, Mar- Marcy's uh brother. Oh, pillow biter. Yeah, pillow. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't pick him because he, even though he's good, he ain't that good. Oh, uh, because Brian will pick but yeah. So yeah, he ain't that good. I would pick. I would pick Prince. What's that, Orion? Oberon. Oberon. I'll pick him. I sure would. He would be my pick. You pick anybody. You pick anybody. Ain't, Shoot. Ain't no I, look, how about, look, how about, since you want to take me out, how about I pick Cersei? Pick Cersei to fight for him. Yeah, and they, they both be dead. You know, she lose and they both be dead. You know what I'm saying? I there you go. I think they have to agree to fight for you. I don't think you can make them fight for you. I don't know how it works, though. Do they agree? they have to agree? I think so. Because you remember, he had to ask for volunteers. Oh. So he's got to 
or convince somebody to fight for him. Either that or he's got to fight for himself, you know. He don't yeah. do very good that he gets knocked out real quick. Look, no cloud nine. <laughs> he did chop a dude's leg in half off yeah. though. Yeah, he did. Oh, what about the ham? I wish the ham would come back and fight for him. Oh, they killed they him. They probably killed him before as soon as they yeah, found him. Yeah, they already gave a hundred. He got a bounty on his head already. Yeah. All right, you guys. <clears throat> that was a pretty good episode. That I knew was that great. One, I knew that one was going to upset you at the end because when you like, <laughs> a new one shake came out, you're going to be like, what the heck? <laughs> that was a great episode. Great episode. Um, if this is your first time watching us, just go ahead and subscribe. And as always, like and comment. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye, guys.